Well, Syria's leadership has uh, yet to respond officially to the Security Council's call for peace. But as government forces continue their assault on opposition towns and cities, Jonah Hull examines what reason President Bashar al-Assad has to cooperate with international efforts to end the conflict. The pressure is on President Bashar al-Assad to respond to Kofi Annan's peace plan. Or so some may be hoping. But even as the United Nations Security Council issued its unanimous statement in New York on Wednesday, there was no pause in the violence, and activists report dozens of deaths in the two days since. It's evidence, opposition figures say, that Assad will feel no pressure to respond positively. It requires a, a stronger resolution, a resolution that is with, with teeth. Uh, so, so that uh, the Assad regime realizes that they have to respond to those demands. It's not just a media, uh, you know, a statement for media consumption, but for effective uh, uh, measures against the regime. Thomas Pickering has decades of experience at the highest levels of international diplomacy. There's always a certain amount of what I would call public effect in diplomacy. You can't dismiss it. But what you now have is the beginning of an increasingly, I think, strong sanctions regime that's moving. You have world opinion that has now separated itself from Syria. You have the Arab League, uh, where, in effect, Syria is standing alone. You have the Organization of the Islamic Conference, where Syria and Iran are standing alone. And so there is the beginning, if I would put it this way, of what I would call the separation of Assad from the rest of the community that he's previously lived in and from the rest of world opinion. So he's definitely on the outs, and he has to begin to contend with that. Some, like Pickering, claim cautious optimism that a rare show of United Nations unity on Syria could be a prelude to firmer action. Many on the ground in Syria dream of that, but with not much optimism and fading hope. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera.